Hello, my name is Philip Hinkle, and I am a proud owner of a Zero Explorer V drone. Shoots 1080p 30 video, and I also happen to work for a company called Rodad that makes software to remove fisheye and stabilize your video. And I've noticed online on social media that a number of people with the Explorer V drone have asked about how to remove fisheye. GoPro comes with a GoPro app to remove fisheye, and other applications have it, but sometimes you have to get into some pretty expensive stuff to uh, get that fisheye removed. Well, the company I work for, ProDrenaline, we have this app called ProDrenaline, of course, and we can remove that fisheye for you, and we can do it very economically and easy. Let me show you how fast and easy it is. I've got a clip here from an online user named David Worden, and it's got some fisheye, it's some beautiful scenery. Man, I wish I had places like this to fly. And if I remember right, scanning through the file earlier, right along in here, when we're flying toward the trees, you can see that fisheye effect kick in. See how it sort of bows out in the middle right there as I zoom in? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix it real simple and easy. All we have to do is come up into our select profile within our ProDrenaline software, and you can see we've got lots and lots of different action cams that we have profiles created for. And we actually have gone in and learned the geometry of the lens and the sensor and how they work together and come up with a profile that should get the fisheye out for you. We haven't created one for the zero, but we have found out that there are a few profiles that will do the trick for us. The one that I have found that works the best for me is under the GoPro settings. GoPro Hero 3 in housing 2.7K. When I click on that, boom, you can see my trees are now straight. And when I zoom in there, I don't have that fisheye look of the wide angle lens as you're flying closer to something. See if I turn that off and fly into it, see how the, the, center, of the, the center of the video sort of bows out and distorts for you? Well, once we select that Hero 3 in housing 2.7K cinema, it gets rid of it. It's that simple to remove your fisheye in Pro Adrenaline. There's lots of other features in here. If your video had some shake and jitter to it, you can stabilize. If you want, you can come over and you can do some uh, color, simple quick color corrections. But all I wanted to show you in this video is how to take that fisheye out. Now this is ProDrenaline version 1. This is our original software. It's been out for a few years. We also have a brand new version called ProDrenaline V2 Plus. And I have that same clip in that software. As you can see, we've changed the interface up a lot and we've changed the functionality a little bit as well. It's still got the same profile, still does the same job, but this version has much more powerful stabilization features. It's got some just crazy um, color grading fe features if you really want to dive into that and have some fun. But we're just here to show you the fisheye removal. So let me find that spot in my video. I think I'm right there. As you can see here, see where it bows there? It just kind of, the middle of the screen just distorts a little bit. In version 2 of Pro Adrenaline, we have to come up where it says used camera optics. Right now it's set to nothing. And now I'm going to go down and select GoPro. Hero 3 in housing 2.7 cinema. It's the same profile as used in version 1. Going to click on that and look, nothing happened. That's because we actually have to come up and turn it on up here. Sometimes people may want to stabilize their footage but not remove the fisheye because they want to save every pixel they can because you know what? When you remove fisheye, you have to crop your footage a little bit to accommodate the changes in the flex of the video as it's unwarped. Well, this gives users in version 2 the option of I want to keep what I got as many pixels as I can, but if we click on that little camera button, you can see it does the same thing that happened in V1. And there we have our fisheye all fixed up. Yes, you're losing a little bit of resolution because we had to crop, but that's going to be expected with any fisheye removal tool. Now, you're wondering, now that I've got it done, how do I get my video out? And simply in version 1, let's go back there first. We go up to Export Optimized Media. 
we come down and we set a directory. We select if we want a big file, a medium file, or a small file. If we want an MP4 or QuickTime, and we hit export. In version 2, it's a little bit different. We come up to the export option and we select our folder again. Let me go pick that proper folder. I've got it under Bear Lake. And then we can actually, in version 2, we can select what flavor of file we want to export. So it's a little extra feature in version 2. So once we get that all set, we hit export and it goes and it exports. One neat little thing that you can actually see how well your fisheye worked is you can put on a horizontal compare and you can also do a vertical compare so you can compare those shots side by side so you can see the software working. This one is not a really really pronounced fisheye effect but you can see the difference in the side by sides. Just for fun, let me go back to version 1 and start and I'm going to import another clip that I have of a wedding chapel out in the country that I shot. Okay, here's our footage and you can see my my, hor my horizon is very warped. If I come up and select Hero 3 in Housing 2.7 Seneca, there we've got it fixed. Our horizon is nice and straight and our video looks pretty good at that point. Before I finish, if you've got the Explorer G, which comes with a GoPro gimbal, then you've got the settings you need right there for whichever version of GoPro you have. You will have the profiles you need to remove the fisheye from your footage with the GoPro. So whether you have the V or the G version of the Explorer, you can use Pro Dremlin to remove that fisheye. Hope these tutorials helped you. If you want to try it out, head over to ProDrenaline.com. That's www.ProDrenaline.com. And you can download the free trials of version 1 or version 2 plus. Run some of your footage through it. See if you like it. And if you do, you can purchase it right from there. And we'll send you a license key. Hope this helps you guys out. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact us through the YouTube video or you can find me on the Zero Explorer page. My name is Philip Hinkle. Thanks and you have a great day.